Sending astronauts to the ISS and back, SpaceX has turned that task into a very normal and routine thing. Just like how we leave home to go to work every morning and return at the end of the day. But for a company, this is a very difficult problem. It's like a dream that they still can't reach. Of course, the company I'm talking about is Boeing with its Starliner spacecraft. Many years have passed since NASA chose them to carry out launch work in the commercial crew program, but so far the result is still constant delays and rising costs from Boeing and their vehicle. The disappointment after a long wait is probably making NASA gradually lose patience. Should the agency wait for the Starliner any longer? Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. After the space shuttle stopped operating in 2011, NASA had to rely on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft for nearly a decade to send astronauts to the ISS. Besides the inconvenience, a leading power like the United States certainly does not want to rely too much on another country, especially a major rival like Russia. Therefore, NASA created a new pair of wings to help them regain autonomy in missions related to the space station. They did this by relying on private companies to build spacecraft to help transport astronauts on their missions. It'll all be conducted through a program called the Commercial Crew Program. There will be two companies acting as NASA's wings in this program, Boeing with Starliner, and SpaceX with Dragon. In 2014, NASA awarded Boeing a $4.2 billion contract, while SpaceX received a $2.6 billion contract to develop vehicles that would take NASA's crews to the ISS. In fact, NASA later paid Boeing an additional $300 million, so Boeing received up to $4.5 billion of this contract. At the same time, NASA's special advisor, William Gersten Mayer, commented that Starliner's proposal was stronger and more feasible than Crew Dragon's, but over the years, what we have seen has gone against what he said. Let's first talk about the wing worth four and a half billion dollars first. In the contract NASA awarded to Boeing, the agency required Boeing to conduct two to six crewed flights to the ISS. According to the original schedule, Starliner's first crewed flight would have been launched in 2017. But up until now, six years have passed and no NASA astronaut has had the honor of sitting on a Starliner to fly to the ISS. So what did they do during those six years? In May of 2016, Boeing decided to delay their testing by eight months to reduce spacecraft mass and address aerodynamic issues. The flight schedule was moved to 2018 and 2019. But in July of 2018, a hypergolic propellant leak occurred, causing those flights to continue to be delayed. It wasn't until November of 2019 that the test was conducted. Although successful in landing, a problem occurred. One of the three parachutes did not work. The parachute problem is one that Boeing still worries about to this day. A month later, the first test flight was launched. However, this flight encountered an error that prevented it from connecting and docking with the ISS, forcing it to land at White Sands, New Mexico within two days of flying. Subsequently, many studies were conducted to discovering two serious software errors which are believed to have led to the destruction of the spacecraft if not detected and fixed. It took Boeing two and a half years to fix the error and a few other problems. Finally, in May of 2022, the second test flight was launched. Fortunately, this flight successfully docked at the ISS and returned to Earth. After the flight, confidence in Boeing increased and they believe the first crewed Starliner flight will soon be launched. But everything crashed to a disappointing halt as Boeing planned the crew flight for December of 2022, it was then pushed back to February of 2023, then April, July, and most recently, the new target date is at least March of 2024. The reason for the latest delay was that they discovered two errors with their spacecraft including the parachute system and the P-213 glass fabric tape covering the electrical wires in the capsule which posed many potential risks to the flight. Boeing claims it'll fix these errors soon this year and conduct a crewed flight in March of 2024 if everything goes well. And there's a lot of emphasis on if everything goes well, since we can't know what will happen because even Boeing isn't quite sure. This is shown in the words of 
Mark Nappy, Vice President and Program Manager for Starliner. I certainly wouldn't want to commit to any dates or frame times. Thus, if we take the starting point in 2017, the year initially scheduled for Starliner's first flight and the ending point in 2030, the year that the ISS is scheduled to stop operating, then Boeing has gone more than half the time. Six years and no crew flight. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait a few more months to know if the flight will launch in March next year. In the meantime, let's see what consequences the delays have had for Boeing. In July, Boeing announced this year's second quarter cost report, and for Starliner, the costs reached $257 million. In total, since 2014, the cost that Boeing has lost on Starliner has reached a whopping $1.47 billion. If the delay continues, Boeing will have to pay all the costs themselves, and they will even have to return part of the money NASA gave them if there is no contribution soon. The stunted Starliner wing is gradually becoming heavier, with costs reaching billions of dollars. Not only can it not help NASA fly, it is now a burden to the agency and even at Boeing itself. And contrary to the absence of the Starliner, SpaceX's Dragon has been a strong wing. Dragon's most recent flight on August 26th successfully sent the Crew-7 crew to the ISS. This is the SpaceX Dragon's second crew flight on NASA's mission this year and the seventh crew flight since 2020. And just over a week later on September 3rd, Crew-6 brought the astronauts back to Earth safely. The next mission will be conducted around early next year with Crew-8. So we don't need to talk about the past. Just this year, Dragon's achievements are enough to knock the Starlink out. Moreover, the cost per seat on Crew Dragon is also lower than the Starliner, at about $55 million, which is almost half of Starliner's $90 million. Last year, due to delays from Starliner, NASA purchased five more Crew Dragon flights to help them maintain operations until the ISS retired, bringing the total number of Crew Dragon flights to 14. This is great for SpaceX fans as they will see more Crew Dragon performances in the coming years. This also shows the importance and influence of Dragon in NASA's program. Being cheaper and more reliable, perhaps those comparisons are enough for everyone to see the superiority that SpaceX's Dragon has over Boeing's product. Perhaps NASA needs to make a stronger decision on whether to wait for that wing worth four and a half billion dollars or not. In fact, the reason NASA has remained patient with Starliner up until now is probably due to money and concerns about Monopoly. They don't want to give up the money and time they have spent and also don't want SpaceX to have a monopoly on their commercial crew project. But so far, at least, everything is not as NASA wanted. After all, NASA is the one who feels the most disappointed as they have to wait day by day, month by month, year after year, witnessing their money evaporate due to delays. They certainly don't like it. But what can they do besides rely on SpaceX? Rely on the Dragon to continue their mission since there's hardly any other option. As for Boeing, expenses and delays are the factors that are gradually killing their Starliner project. Without practical improvements, explanations would be meaningless. It'd be surprising if NASA's six-year hope, the Starliner, could completely come to an end. There will be replacements, or not, since Crew Dragon is fully capable of carrying the rest of the mission. March of 2024, Boeing's expected timeline is gradually approaching. Perhaps this will be their last chance which will determine the Starliner's existence. But could it beat SpaceX's Crew Dragon? Well, that's not what Boeing should be focused about. They must find a way to salvage their project first. For Boeing, the problem will not just be about money anymore, it'll be about honor. Being eliminated would tarnish their reputation. What do you think? Do you think Boeing and Starliner can pull it off? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Once again, please let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you again next time.